Maine saw an almost comical increase in, quote, positive COVID-19 cases in November, even after Democrat Governor Janet Big Sister Mills mandated face mask use at the beginning of the month. The mandate saw nearly 99% compliance, but that did not stop the COVID-19 cases from blasting through the stratosphere with over 4,000 new cases for the month. On December 11th, Big Sister enhanced her mask mandate to exclude medical and handicap exemptions and promised to fine businesses for failing to enforce her edicts. In the first eight days after that mask mandate expansion, Maine recorded an additional 3,326, quote, positive COVID-19 cases in the state. The excessive case numbers are misleading, however. As Fort Fairfield Journal Television reported last month, because Maine is using a PCR testing platform that is geared to be excessively sensitive and has not been tested or certified by the US FDA for safety or accuracy, it is contributing excessively high positive case numbers from people who have either already been infected and recovered or are carrying statistically insignificant and non-infectious viral loads. A better way to track the virus is actual hospital admissions, which briefly peaked in Maine to around 20 per day around the 1st of December, but quickly subsided to around just seven hospitalizations per day out of those ridiculously massive positive case numbers. On December 20th, there was only one new COVID hospitalization in Maine. At that time, there were 49 COVID patients in ICU, a number that is dwarfed by the 236 patients who were also in ICU at the same time for illnesses not related to COVID-19. Maine has also continually increased the number of tests for COVID-19 to over 60,000 per week in some instances. Maine has conducted more than a million PCR tests so far this year, with only 20,000 of them coming up positive for the alleged COVID-19 coronavirus. This is an unprecedented departure from the historical use of PCR tests, which have been used for years to identify seasonal flu strains, but only for people showing up at the hospital with symptoms. This is the first time PCR tests which were never intended to diagnose a disease, have been used on such a massive population-wide scale. Furthermore, the Maine DHS admits on their official COVID-19 tracking page that a new, quote, case number does not necessarily mean a new person infected, since the department is not correlating test results with the individual people who receive them. This means, for example, if a person receives three positive tests during the course of their own personal tracking of the disease, that one person will count as three cases in the state's COVID-19 database. The state is also not tracking if a new case is from a person who actually lives in the state or is merely a visitor. So, between excessively sensitive PCR tests, a massive testing of the population, and at times double or triple counting the same person. Maine's PCR case numbers are at best an illusion, and at worst, a deliberate attempt to mislead the public and perpetuate a non-existent pandemic. On December 2nd, the Bangor Daily News, Maine's statewide daily newspaper, published a front-page story extolling the 67 deaths from COVID-19 in Maine during November as record-setting. The article focused entirely on deaths attributed to COVID-19, but was silent on heart disease, which killed around five times the number of Maine's COVID-19 victims during the same time period. The US CDC reports that in Maine, around 1,100 to 1,200 people die every month from all causes and have died at that rate historically for many years. According to their most recent statistics available, which are given to them by the Maine CDC, during the time period of November 1 through 21, 234 Mainers died of heart disease, 197 died of cancer, 
115 died from Alzheimer's disease dementia, while those who died from COVID-19, allegedly, during that time period totaled just 37 people. Therefore, of all the major diseases that caused death in Maine during November 2020, COVID-19 was one of the least deadly. With COVID-19 surging on the scoreboard, with 3,233 positive cases logged in Maine between November 22nd through December 6th, the state intriguingly found only one new positive case of seasonal flu during that same time period in the entire state. At no other time over the past five years worth of data was Maine's weekly flu case count so low. The current best estimates of COVID-19's infection fatality rate stands at 0.2%, or just slightly north of seasonal flu's death rates. These stories and more in the print edition of the Fort Fairfield Journal. For WFFJ-TV, I'm Dave Deshantz.